from hitting actors in the face. Oh, sorry. Did I hit you in the face right now? To constantly forgetting lines. I hope something more morbid comes to an eye. We are the cast of Wednesday, and we are going to take the BuzzFeed quiz. That's not the line. <laughs> um. <laughs> the Wednesday cast is as weird as the Adams Family itself. So let's dive into the funniest behind the scenes moments to find out which actors stole from the set. <laughs> we stole a golf cart and. <laughs> but did you really? We were chased down the street. <laughs> yeah, we were chased. How far did the crew's pranks go? <laughs> and who has the most awkward laugh ever? <laughs> Let's begin with bad news. The actress who plays Wednesday, Jenna Ortega, is pretty much like her character in real life. So in case you ever meet her, watch out, because Ortega can hurt you, like physically. Oh, sorry, did I hit you in the face right now? According to her co-star Emma Myers, Ortega is as unpredictable as her character, and most of the time she keeps that iconic Wednesday mood. But Jenna is quite like Wednesday, because they both have the same humor. Um, they're both very dry and sarcastic, and sometimes I can't tell when she's joking or not. <laughs> wow! We wonder if Ortega throws piranhas in a swimming pool full of people, too? <laughs> but jokes aside, when Jenna is completely out of character, she can actually be a sweetheart. Yes, Ortega does her best to treat her co-stars with nothing but love. If I ninja. Yeah, we want to be smooth at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes she gets way too close to her mates and even acts a bit weird. Like here, take a look at Ortega's suspicious talk with Gwendolyn Christie. Uh, thank you very much, woman. My woman, I love you. Sorry, that might be disrespectful, but that is my nickname for her because she's my wife. What? My woman? My wife? We have so many questions for Ortega after watching this video. But one thing is for sure, the two actresses are definitely having the womance of the year, and it's kind of fun to watch. It wasn't only sarcasm and dark humor that united Ortega with her character. The actress went all in preparing for her role. So most of the things that Wednesday can do, Jenna can do too. Yes, she took fencing lessons. I went to fencing lessons twice a week. No, good. Cello lessons. I started working on the cello about two months before we started shooting. It is something that I want to continue to pursue. She practiced archery, went canoeing, and learned how to speak German. How do you mind Nobody really understood what she was saying. But anyways, that's unbelievable. The only thing Jenna did not learn how to do was dance. I actually felt really insecure about this. I choreographed that myself, and I think it's very obvious that I'm not a dancer. But that didn't stop this scene from becoming so memorable. Yes, Ortega's dance combined with Lady Gaga's song became so viral that the singer herself couldn't help but do the TikTok trend. Simply legendary. Of course, like every human being, sometimes Jenna makes mistakes, which, luckily for us, makes for an amazing blooper reel. Mother is a carnivorous planet. <laughs> Jenna even spoiled the easiest line while doing a promotional interview for BuzzFeed. We are the cast of Wednesday, and we are going to take the BuzzFeed quiz. That's not the line. <laughs> Come on, one more time, Jenna. We are the cast of Wednesday, and we're here with BuzzFeed. <laughs> No, I got it, I got it. I'm sorry, I'm just, I feel the pressure. She finally nailed it, no worries. And of course, Ortega wasn't the one who spoiled most of the takes. Do you wanna know who that actor was? Of course you do. It was this gentleman over here. <laughs> Percy Hines White, AKA Xavier. He publicly admitted that he messed up lines the most and his co-stars seem to agree. I always feel like I forget my lines more than everyone else, but you guys probably yeah, all feel that no, way too, awesome. right? No, it was Percy. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with Percy. Well, that's the team spirit. It seems like Percy was also famous for making the most noises on set, whatever that means. Obnoxious loud noises though, I think me and George, 100%. Noises? Yeah, you know, noises. Wow, we wonder what noises he is talking about, huh? Oh! 
Anyway, let Percy explain that himself. <laughs> Secret dance parties, private noises. Yes, okay. Me and my homie were making private noises together. <laughs> you, you and your roomie. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Good to know. But it wasn't enough for Percy. Not only did he screw up his lines and make ugly noises, he also stole things from the set. Whoa. Just look how excited the actor was when he was asked about taking props home. Oh, I got to keep um, a couple paintings because uh, my character paints in the show. So I was like, one of the last days, I was just kind of like sneaking around set, you know, hanging around, waiting until we wrapped. Yes, Percy is the wild card behind the scenes. One day, he takes paintings from the show, and another day, he steals a golf cart. You heard that right. We stole a golf cart, and we got in trouble. <laughs> but did you, you really? were chased down the street. <laughs> yeah, we were chased. But how did that happen? According to Percy, he and his mate Georgie Farmer were in a studio. They saw a golf cart and wanted to prank everyone, and to take a... Little joyride. Yeah, exactly. A little joyride. But as you may have already guessed, things didn't exactly go how Percy and Georgie planned. And they got caught. Here's how that looked from the sidelines. All of a sudden, we hear this like yelling. It's like, get back here! And we turn around and, and Georgie and Percy are bolting down the street and there's a man like in a car chasing them. Apparently they had stolen a golf cart and then like oh my got in trouble for stealing the golf cart. Percy and Georgie tried to hide, but of course it's impossible to hide with a golf cart in a studio. So no matter what they really wanted to achieve, their prank kind of failed. God knows how many other things Percy stole or tried to steal from the set. Talking about things and pranks, we have to recall the latest creepy joke played by the Wednesday crew, the one where they spread horror on the streets of New York. <laughs> this was a promo video made by Netflix, where the crew designed an animatronic hand to scare some innocent souls. And it was absolutely hilarious. How would you react if you saw a thing in real life? Let's hope you won't ever know for sure. The interesting thing about Thing is that it wasn't animatronic in the series. Yes, Thing was played by Romanian magician Victor Dorobantu. It's a really hard process because you have to, uh, to show emotions through a simple hand that doesn't have voice or subtitles. What a great and yet weird job, right? Imagine playing a hand. Victor absolutely nailed his acting job, giving life to one of the most memorable characters in the series. But do you know what was even harder than playing a hand? Being on set with it and not bursting out laughing. Because the actors who talked with Thing in a scene would always see Victor dressed up in a blue costume. I know I'm stubborn, single-minded, and obsessive. But those are all traits of great writers. Yes, and serial killers. Hunter Duhan shared his experience of working with Thing. According to him, it was both weird, funny, and surreal. Thing comes to my house to deliver a message for Wednesday. I realized it was my doing a scene, my only scene partner was a disembodied hand. I'd obviously never gotten to do anything quite like that. And doing that with Tim Burton, it was all just kind of like a too surreal to handle. Can't argue with that. As you might have guessed, now we're going to talk about funny moments that required some visual effects. And if you haven't finished the series, pause our video and watch it later. Because we're about to mention some heavy spoilers. Did you enjoy the Hyde monster? Pretty cool, huh? He looked like Gollum on steroids. And did you enjoy the twist that revealed who the monster was? We absolutely did! Of course, Hunter Duhan was more than happy to deliver the biggest bomb of the plot. Perhaps that's why he had that creepy laugh in his interviews? <laughs> Maniac indeed! Hunter enjoyed playing Hyde so much that he shared this TikTok as a tribute to his beloved character. Yeah, it's all about the huge eyes. Making monster scenes is always fun, especially because they are super weird to film. Here's how Emma described her process of working with Hunter, doing their famous fight scene in the woods. Me and a couple other guys crawling around on the floor, growling at each other. That was weird, I'll never forget that. That's pretty much what happened in the series. 
Unfortunately, we don't have footage from the making of that fight scene, but we'd love to share some other spectacular and painful footage of making action sequences. Like, for example, here's how Jenna Ortega was pushed into a tree. Three, two, one, go! Ouch! And here's how she was brutally dropped. Three, two, one, drop! Told ya, acting is hard and painful. Yeah. Especially when the director wants to make as many things as real as possible. Here's another cool example of how wild the shooting was. If you thought that moment of a werewolf catching a frisbee was computer generated, then think again. Here's what this moment looked like behind the scenes. So absolutely everyone on set had some real fun making Wednesday, even the stunt doubles. But perhaps the most fun thing about making the Wednesday series was the dancing. Yes! Ortega had a blast making her iconic dance scene. But did you know that the rest of the cast had their best time dancing too? Moments like that make us want season two even more. Fan of Wednesday? Then what are you waiting for?